हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू सोनिया आई एस वेलकम बैक टू टॉप फिफ्टी रैपिड करेंट अफेयर्स ऑफ ईच मंथ वी हैड बिन डूइंग इट फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी प्रीवियस मंथ हैड बिन ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन टू दिस टी एफ आर सीरीज दैट यू कैन वॉच ऑन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ शून्य आई एस हाउ वी आर कवरिंग हेयर बिकॉज नाउ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी डेज आर देर एंड इन टू दैट टाइम यू हैव टू प्रायरिटाइज योर टॉपिक्स इफ यू हैव स्टडीड द करेंट अफेयर्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर हैव यू actually organize the current affairs because different questions are asked from the contextual peripheral issues just knowing certain facts is not going to help you moreover the topics that you have covered are important high yielding for the upsc examination or not for that this tfr series is a must and how we are covering over here that in 5 days 1 to 5 11 to 15 and 21 to 25 we cover one month's current affair in all of them and into these five days the segregation of topics are like like for for example 21st march economic development 22nd march polity governance and international relations 23rd march environment and ecology 24th march science and technology 25th march reports and this is defense art and culture and miscellaneous topics like government schemes will be discussed you can see that how the topics have been divided from where the majority of questions are coming and these topics not only pave way for understanding of the newspaper but also that previous year questions from where they are asking the questions so that you get a uh, you know a focused attention towards the topics that have been recurringly asked by the upsc in the previous years and for detailed analysis where into the class i also discuss the previous year questions pyqs different context that what for the particular topic is into the news and integrate it with the static portion for example many more questions are being asked from the static portion of polity but the particular portion was in the news into the current affairs for example constitutional amendment act can be asked particularly where the federal features are changing because into the women reservation bill that has been passed where this amendment act definitely change certain federal feature but not with the ratification of 50% of the states such nuanced understanding you will get in the current affairs crash course you can join the online crash course from the www.sunyas.com and it is also offline mode in the delhi center from 19th march and students second batch of current affairs crash course is coming on 1st april First April, those who could not join the offline Delhi Center crash course on the 19th March, they can definitely join it. Join it at first April. Okay. So first topic is Great Indian Bustard. In the environment, we talk about species, critically endangered species, mentioned in the Wildlife Protection Act. You would have definitely studied Great Indian Bustard. what about the habitat how the questions have evolved the change pattern of upsc from where it is asking it about its protected area where it is found historically great indian bustard had been found in 11 different states of india but now because of human activity they are poaching as well as clearing the land their habitats for agricultural purpose their population has been greatly shrinking greatly shrinking for that stand it is critically endangered that you can remember recently it is in news because government of india has submitted ministry of environment has submitted that into the kutch bustard sanctuary there are no great indian bustards great indian bustard is also local, locally known as godavans कच्छ बस्टर्ड सेंचुरी में अब बिल्कुल भी ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड नहीं है ये गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने रिपोर्ट किया है इफ दिस स्टेटमेंट कम्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन दैट एज पर द रीसेंट रिपोर्ट देयर इज नो ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड फाउंड इन द कच्छ बस्टर्ड सेंचुरी सम स्टूडेंट्स वुड थिंक एक तो होगी दो तो होगी बर्ड है ओके बट द पॉइंट यू शुड बी रिमेंबरिंग दैट इट हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड डेजर्ट नेशनल पार्क इट इज फाउंड इन द डेजर्ट नेशनल पार्क कच्छ बस्टर्ड सेंचुरी ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड सेंचुरी desert national park students very important basically it is located near the jaisalmer and barmer and barmer 
जैसलमेर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गोल्डन सिटी ओके दिस इज दिस डेजर्ट नेशनल पार्क इज लिस्टेड इन टू द टेंटेटिव लिस्ट टेंटेटिव लिस्ट ऑफ यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट ठीक है डेजर्ट नेशनल पार्क इट ऑल्सो इन कॉम्पैसिस थार डेजर्ट सो दीज आर द नेशनल पार्क राइट नाउ इन इंडिया नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इट एंडेमिक टू इंडिया नो इट इज फाउंड इन इंडिया एज वेल एज पाकिस्तान इट इज इन पाकिस्तान एज वेल एज इंडिया इन इंडिया मोस्टली इट इज फाउंड इन राजस्थान एंड गुजरात बट स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन आर प्रेजेंट इन महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटका एज वेल महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश एंड कर्नाटका एज वेल मेजोरली इट इज फाउंड इन गुजरात एंड राजस्थान द हैबिटेड दिस काइंड ऑफ ग्रास दैट यू आर लुकिंग इज इन टू द पिक्चर इट इज कॉल्ड एज सिवान ग्रास एस ई डब्ल्यू ए एन सिवान ग्रास this is a special type of grass that is found into the habitats of great indian bustard ab bhai jab iski population shrink ho rahi hai so what would happen we would take measures for its conservation so kya hua ek case hua supreme court mein mk Ra rajnath singh uh, mk ranjit singh others versus union of india where it was directed to the governments of rajasthan and gujarat that jahan pe bhi electric lines ja rahe hain hai na because these birds are not aware you know busted family they belong to big huge busted family so their wings get entrapped into the electrical lines and because of electrocution most of the busteds die therefore they have to you know use fly bird diverters these are the examples of it because yahan pe all of sudden light ki bahut tez reflection agar padegi to birds will get to understand that something is there and they will get diverted and not get electrocuted so this is one such important step other steps are project great indian bustard and captive breeding so that its population after captive breeding can be introduced into the wild as well captive breeding of great indian bustards in india great indian bustard very popular four types of bustards are found where gib great indian bustard is the largest of all other three are mac queens bustard lesser floricon and bengal floricon bengal floricon lesser floricon and mac queens bustards critical endangered critically endangered species pe bahut sare questions aate hain upsc mein therefore this species is particularly important and recently a report has been submitted next is sponge form farming agriculture as a subject finds concurrence into different subjects like economic development agriculture is one important aspect if i talk about environment sustainable agriculture is another important thing here it is a news because in the janjibar region okay janjibar basically is a village in habitation on the islands you can note down this place environmentally important the women were doing previously seaweed farming seaweed farming se unhe climate change ki wajah se shift hua, hona pada on sponge farming where is janjibar islands it is on the east coast of tanzania basically it is in tanzania but in the indian ocean getting the point in the indian ocean certain significant changes are there it has dual benefits first benefit for the climate change how it is going to benefit climate change we will understand second benefit is it acts like you can see the pores are there these are the different pores you can look into it what it is basically it is like different cells are there sponge living animal made of loosely arranged cells surrounded by this kind of skeleton this is skeleton is there small cells are there and it has pores into it this helps for the symbiotic relationship 
ऑफ डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बहुत सारे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स के लिए ये हैबिटेशन का काम करता है इट वर्क्स लाइक यू नो अ प्लेस फॉर देयर सिम्बायोटिक ग्रोथ फॉर द डिफरेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड एक्ट्स लाइक पंप यूनिक पंपिंग सिस्टम दैट एब्जॉर्ब डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मिनरल्स पर्टिकुलरली सिलिका यू हैव टू नोट इट डाउन सिलिका now after this farming after the harvesting of the sponges when they are sold into the market what are the benefits associated with it they are used mostly in bathing and hygienic purposes because naturally they are anti fungal and anti bacterial and after it is consumed its life cycle is over it great it uh, breaks down into you know micro pieces of silica that when it is absorbed back into the ocean it helps in regulating the carbon cycle and reducing the greenhouse gas impact so climate change may be helpful hai or this is helpful for growth of the marine biodiversity also it is not adversely impacting the marine biodiversity it is preserving the marine biodiversity it exists in all oceans and make up to 20% of the global silicon biological sink okay 20% of the global silicon biological sink this is important sponges provide homes to you know homes for animals plants microorganisms as we know to iske sare ke benefits hain biodiversity conservation and climate change mitigation both the things sing singchung bugun village community Republic Day Parade, 26 January, the Arunachal Pradesh, state of Arunachal Pradesh, Sela Tunnel, you know, Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, they have showcased the village community reserve. They showcase their village community reserve. Understand, students? Here, the interlinkage with the static is important into the environment. wildlife protection act that was amended in 2002 and that paved way for two things one is called as community reserve another thing is conservation reserve community reserve and conservation reserve conservation reserve are uninhabited areas protected entirely by the government of india where human populations does not settle down but for the subsistence purposes it could be used wahan se minor forest produce le sakte hain theek hai subsistence ke liye people can go but these are uninhabited places entirely owned by the government of india community reserve wo reserves hain jo privately bhi usme land own hota hai and why do we call them reserves we call them reserves because these are the areas around national parks wildlife sanctuaries that acts like a buffer zone that acts like connectors that acts like migration zone from one place to another place acts like a corridor for different species so unki protection bhi bahut zyada zaruri hai to singchung bugun village community reserve of arunachal pradesh is a very good example of it okay so it is nearby basically this is a 17 square kilometer area okay around 40 kilometer near to, to the eagle nest wildlife sanctuary exam mein question aa sakta hai eagle nest wildlife sanctuary where it is located arunachal pradesh okay and it has one unique india's one of the first critically endangered bird species bahut kam naam sunte hoge iska this is bugun bugun word i want you to remember because is bird ka naam jo india mein first discovered bird hai post independence this is bugun lihoshichla lihoshichla okay bugun lihoshichla it is named it is only on the bugun community reserve land it is found theek hai 
एंड इट इज क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड माइंड इट नोटेड डाउन इट इज क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड इस पर भी क्वेश्चन आएगा एग्जाम में ओके सो इट वॉज फर्स्ट डिस्कवर फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड बर्ड इन इंडिया आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस एंड इट इज ऑल्सो क्रिटिकली इंडेंजर्ड देर फोर इसका प्रोटेक्शन बहुत जरूरी है दिस दीज आर द पिक्चर्स ऑफ बुगुन कम्युनिटी रेड पांडास क्लाउडेड लेपर्ड दीज थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो फाउंड बट नॉट पर्टिकुलरली इन द सिंगचुंग विलेज कम्युनिटी रिजर्व बट इन टू द अरुणाचल प्रदेश स्टेट ग्रेट फ्यूल्स अलायंस इंडिया देखो ग्रेट फ्यूल्स अलायंस ग्रीन फ्यूल अलायंस बेसिकली पार्ड इन द लैंग्वेज इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड डेनमार्क India and Denmark see that Denmark you know the country which is a little bit more developed and has lot of funds that can be provided into India's mission to for sustainable energy products so it is basically a part of the strategic partnership that was signed between India and Denmark in 2020 2020 में इंडिया एंड डेनमार्क हैड साइंड ग्रीन स्ट्रैटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इफ द क्वेश्चन कम्स सी कंट्री स्ट्रैटेजिक पार्टनरशिप लॉन्च बाय एडीबी ये एडीबी का है आशियान डेवलपमेंट बैंक का है 2023 से 2030 तक कंट्री स्ट्रैटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इट इज रिलेटेड टू द डेवलपमेंटल प्रोजेक्ट्स बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट ग्रीन स्ट्रैटेजिक पार्टनरशिप इट इज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड डेनमार्क दैट यू विल रिमेंबर एज एन आउटकम ऑफ इट basically green fields we are focusing on the green fields what are the examples of green fields you will see different policies by the india okay green hydrogen mission green hydrogen we have discussed already what is white hydrogen gray hydrogen green hydrogen all these things have been discussed ethanol okay ethanol based economy we are focusing on natural gas electric vehicles alt sustainable alternative fuels okay so basically green fuels alliance so here technology transfer will happen and certain funds will be transferred that will help in and uh, uh, growing the businesses objective is to promote sustainable energy growth in india collaboration among different businesses of both the countries government entities research institutions etc getting the point carbon border adjustment mechanism guys very important question has to be asked on this carbon border adjustment mechanism first we should understand that it is european union's mechanism to restrict the trade of highly carbon embedded products to restrict the trade of highly carbon embedded products so what will happen here it is in the news because what happens uh, its implementation european union is saying that yes from the 1st january 2026 it will be executed it will be implemented but for the transitional purpose if if we want to transition into this kind of implementation from the october 2023 certain certificates from both the customs customs of different nationals nationals and the uh, importer of the european union whatever imports they are doing they have to collect and notify these documents सो so, यहां पे क्या होगा बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स जहां से भी फॉर एग्जांपल कार्बन सर्टिफिकेट्स कार्बन सर्टिफिकेट्स विल बी इशूड देन दे विल बी प्राइज्ड द प्राइसिंग विल बी देयर फॉर दीज कार्बन सर्टिफिकेट्स एंड दिस प्राइसिंग विल बी बेस्ड ऑन यूरोपियन यूनियंस कार्बन ट्रेडिंग मैकेनिज्म इट विल बी अलाइन टू दैट द पर्टिकुलर प्राइसिंग so national governments whatever they are producing specifically from the industries related to cement steel and iron aluminium fertilizer electricity which are consuming lot of carbon dioxide okay which are producing lot of carbon dioxide therefore they will be taxed accordingly 
this is called as carbon border adjustment mechanism now here it is being entirely opposed by basic countries basic countries brazil south africa india and china we are saying over here that this is a discriminatory practice it does not have a global consensus that how european union can go like that it is against the principle of cbdr rc combined but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities it is against that therefore why they are going to issue such certificates collectively we are moving into that direction getting the point so if simple question comes carbon border adjustment mechanism what is the principle carbon certificates would be issued they will be traded and their pricing will be aligned as per the european uh, european union's carbon trading mechanism and india and basic countries are opposing it wellington island students wellington island is here into the kochi basically it is the largest man made island here of india largest man made island of india it is important because it was named after after the 22nd viceroy of india 1931 to 1936 was the period right now it is the naval base of kochi naval base and ports are also there wellington island sometimes match the column question comes one liner question comes over there and sagar island we see the you know the pathway of ganges river it forms a big delta huge delta so from kolkata okay from the city of kolkata 100 kilometers down the line the big delta is there and this delta has this island called as sagar island which is important it is important because ganga sagar ganga sagar you know uh, hindu pilgrimage site is there on the eve of makar sankranti people visit there and therefore pilgrimage site ganga sagar what kind of island it is okay so basically it is formed by the delta of ganges so it is depositional uh, island at the mouth of hogli river okay guys so thank you keep working hard keep revising and let's meet tomorrow